My name is uh, Masoud Asani. I was born in Afghanistan. We lived on the outskirts of Kabul on the edge of a desert. Back then, there were many militaries from foreign countries who were trained there with guns and explosives. When they went home, they left lots of explosives and mines behind. My brother and I would make wind power toys and would raise them against the other children. We made many different designs using cheap materials that we found. So this very windy desert became our playground. Most people who live in Kabul will know somebody who has been hurt or killed by a landmine. After the loss of my father, my mother felt it would be too dangerous for me to stay. So she smuggled us out. After four years of traveling, I arrived in the Netherlands. I was accepted as a refugee. Now as an adult working as a product designer, I use my background to inspire my projects. It moves using the power of the wind. When it rolls over an antipersonal landmine, it's heavy enough to detonate the explosive. With each detonation, the microphone loses just one or two legs. Therefore, it could potentially destroy three to four landmines in one journey. My ideal scenario would be to provide it for local people as a tool to cheaply survey this danger in their own environment. Hello. Thanks for the warm welcome. Uh, so with this project, we want to raise awareness uh, about landmines. We're also raising awareness about ecology, sustainability, and the power of the wind. When we started this project, uh, there were no other type of demining uh, tools to uh, survey from uh, the air. It was only handheld. So that's why we came up with this idea. So since 2013, uh, I have set up a new company for robotics and drones. Uh, and we develop software for especially inborn uh, demining system together with my brother. His name is Mohamed Hassani. So he's my partner in, uh, in this project. Uh, so our mission is to destroy all the landmines in 10 years time. So the biggest, the biggest question is how we can do it and who is going to use it. So that's why this is the project all about. So this is uh, the whole uh, solution in, uh, of the project. In the future, actually this year we are already uh, thinking of uh, wider uh, of mobility ways, but that's another project. And, and for now, uh, I'm very happy to be here and to have you still here. And, uh, uh, and if you have any questions, we can answer your questions. We uh, yes, uh, of course it's a life-changing product and project. When I started this, uh, it was about uh, school graduation. It took me, it took me only three months, uh, and now we're still uh, still talking about it. Uh, so um, it's a it's kind of emotional uh, travel through time, and I've seen uh, people uh, also growing up. In, so now we have a uh, few guys working for us, and they were teenagers on the project. So, and uh, so I hope this project will uh, finalize and save also uh, the landmines and all this that we have uh, promised them uh, quite some time ago. So this is uh, also important for me, <laughs> and I believe uh, anything is possible in the world. So you have to find the right people uh, to collaborate with to help you, to motivate you, to support you. And also in Korea, uh, we have a big voice. Uh, Indigo has been uh, supporting us for a long time and we have been in contact. And also uh, from all of the way to the other side of the world. So uh, it's very interesting and we hope that we can accomplish this goal together also. And then also you can pursue your dreams, whatever. 
you're interested in, find the right people to work with, people that you trust, and then you will uh, have success long, uh, long term or short term, doesn't matter. So, so this is all. Wine Kampon. 선생님이 만든 것의 배경은 또그 기회를 심는 사람이 있었을 거라고 생각합니다. 그러면 저희 청소년들이 카폰을 아 마이크 폰을 만드는 사람 그러니까 기회를 심는 사람이 아니라 예술을 만드는 사람이 되려면 어떤 정신이 필요하고 또한 지금 어떤 행동을 해야 하는지 선생님께 질문하고 싶습니다. So since this project is very inspired by childhood toys, so I think children's imagination is very important. To uh, imagine things very big, to uh, don't think about anything that's possible or not possible, just fall and play around with it. So I think this is the source of this project, uh, to implement your ideas into the real, uh, real world. And any child, any child uh, I think the saying from Dali or Picasso, and one of them, so it says uh, every child is an artist. But when they become older, the artist disappears. So we have to keep this artist with us when when you grow up. 어떻게 하면 사람들이 나의 지위를 부끄럼 나의 지위에 부끄럼함을 뛰어 넘어서 우리를 위한 공부와 연구에 대해서 관심을 가지고 이어 나갈 수 있을지 조금 궁금하고요. 나의 도움이 세계 호름에 가닿기를 노력하고 있는 사람들을 위한 어떤 조언이나 지지의 말씀이 있으시다면 해주시면 감사하겠습니다. I think this is uh, important as a uh, human being that we look around us and see how the world uh, works and exists. Uh, so there's a, a bubble of uh, me, myself and I that we live in sometimes. But we forget the rest of the world and sometimes we need to see uh, how some I mean, cultures live, maybe uh, understanding them better uh, to, to see what are the other needs that uh, are not here today, uh, so that will open up uh, new possibilities. And uh, this is how creativity works. Uh, to think, they say, think out of the box. There's no box, but still, uh, uh, to be uh, very imagine, uh, imagine more, uh, and to really understand uh, the essence of life. Thank you.